So creating a standard is actually really the right basis for like fixing problems rather than like just making an app or just making a custom smart contract and hope that people jump on it. The Lux of Standard Proposals LSPs are the main building block of the ecosystem. They are used by developers to build their dApps and give more flexibility, which can lead to a more engaging user experience. There are the first 10 introduced standards. Let's fly through them. LSP0 is the blockchain-based account itself. The next standard communicates with the account about transactions. That is essential to make a transaction safe and protect you from sending your assets to the wrong address. Here is a quick Fabian's explanation. We all probably have heard about the fact that people lost a bunch of crypto, right? Because they're sending it to the wrong address. You should actually not send assets anymore to playing keys. So that's the old world, sending it to playing keys. The new world is sending it to smart contracts. And a smart contract has the universal receiver implemented and does not reject it. We also have libraries, metadata. All of these profiles are ERC-725 accounts contract. And these pictures and name, they are directly fetched from inside the smart contract in a full decentralized way. And the combination between LSP-0 ERC-725 account, which is a smart contract, and the LSP-3 universal profile metadata, which is just a bunch of data keys, form what we call universal profiles. Fifth standard stores corresponding addresses. We also need a key manager with our account. A key manager that may make different people execute through our universal profile based on different permissions. So here we have a, a person that have the permission to execute through the key manager and he's only allowed to talk to three addresses. If he tries to talk to another smart contract that is not here in the allowed addresses, it's going to revert and it's not going to go through. Everything is stored inside the, the universal profile or the ERC-725 account. And the key manager just read and filter uh, if he's allowed or not based on these permissions stored inside the uh, ERC-725 account. Seventh standard brings interface for all our assets. LSP-8 allows for unique token trading. And lastly, we have the vault. NFT 2.0 is a term used often in Luxo community. Or you'd call it NFT 2.0. So. The explanation of it is a bit complex, but Fabian does it very well in this video. So the benefit here is if you, I want to issue a thousand assets of a 7 to 1. 7 to 1 is Ethereum standard for NFTs. I would literally either have a batch functionality or I have to call the mint function a thousand times because I have to create thousand, one thousand different IDs. I also have to update the JSON uh, file for each one. But if I want to create a thousand assets here, 725 is its upgraded version in Laxo. I simply have to create one function, call the min function to one specific address, and I can create a thousand units, right? Because I'm just creating a number. You can also then add all kinds of new things. You can add a reputation system, you can add a token that's related to those items. <clears throat> There's some other fanciness to it, like the ability to inform other smart contracts when they receive things. This is actually an evolution and a bit more sophisticated version of what L721 right now is, which is a simple mapping between an ID and an address. I hope that makes it more clear, or you're even more confused than before. Uh, anyway, that's it.